I am S. Banker from Kaiser Power Electronics. Today I would like to do a teardown of a uh, small Merlin Shering 2.2V kilo KVA um, UPS. It's a uh, part of the uh, system, um, the taxi radio system that I did a uh, teardown of prior to this. So uh, let's take a look at this little UPS unit. It's uh, probably just gonna contain some uh, low voltage power MOSFET and a uh, regular output stage, but let's see, we can always be surprised. This is the unit itself. With its uh, 8 6 volt batteries installed, it weighs a good 40 kilogram. Here at the front we have a few stasis LEDs, so two buttons, a mute and power on. Here we can see the model number, it's a Merlin Shering Pulsar ESV22+. Plus. The uh, 22 plus uh, is the uh, KVA uh, rating, which in this case is 2.2. If we take a look at the back of the unit, you see the uh, marking plate over here. It's rated for 2.3 uh, kilowatt uh, input. There is a uh, serial port for a U-Talk, uh, probably some uh, modern sharing. Uh, protocol or something like that has some uh, network protection input output and then uh, six outputs and a single input with a small uh, circuit breaker with the enclosure off we can see the internals of the UPS over here is uh, the uh, output uh, the 230 volt AC the uh, red green and black wires here are actually the, the battery input connector at the back I did not expect that, but then again, where should the batteries be in this uh, small uh, amount of space? Um, the uh, inverter itself, um, or the output inverter, is uh, you can see that the big low voltage leads are connected directly to the common heatsink, so it's a lot of uh, small uh, transistor in a parallel uh, inverter. Um, and there's some uh, paper wrapped all around the circuitry here for the uh, fan to control the airflow through the uh, fins here. So uh, I will get this uh, torn out of the enclosure so we can take a closer look of the inverter board and so on. Sitting back in the enclosure is the uh, output connectors, the input line filter, input line fuse, um, extension box and the output inductor. Now, this is quite a big, uh, big core for a 2.2 kVA unit, so this is probably uh, rated to actually uh, continuous working for the 30 minutes it's specified for, and not uh, because normally I think these are a little uh, smaller and just uh, rated for uh, maximum temperature when the batteries run out. But this also have two uh, thermal uh, sensors built into it, so. I assume this is pretty good. Also rated for 180 degrees Celsius. Now looking at the uh, main uh, control and power board here, we have uh, four rows of uh, N-channel and P-channel uh, MOSFETs. These are 100 volt 56 uh, ampere MOSFETs. We can take a look down here and see the part number. 75639P. Uh, these connected out to the um, the output inductor. Here we have the uh, battery input uh, wires, which goes up to a small bank here of the capacitors, and then uh, it's uh, switched out into here. There's a lot of relays in uh, parallel for the uh, outputs. There's a little filtering uh, L and, uh, L and uh, C. Over in the control section, we have a Motorola um, MCC68H705, which is a 8-bit um, uh, microcontroller running at 3.6864 MHz. This uh, basically does all the um, controls of the board because all the other uh, ICs that we have around here are um, logic uh, 
ICs for the different measurements done uh, around the board. Now there are no uh, obvious uh, damages to this uh, UPS, maybe except a uh, uh, pretty dark spot um, at some uh, power resistors here. So that's probably some uh, measurement uh, that has warmed up over the time. While a uh, small 2.2 kVA uh, UPS is not the most interesting thing in the world, it still contains a few good parts for uh, rebuilding into uh, inverters or Tesla coils like the uh, input-output filters and the, the huge um, output inductor could probably be reversed and used for a spot welder and then uh, there is really not much, maybe the uh, MOSFETs could be used for anything but that would be a low voltage power supply the 100 volt rating is kind of uh, limiting to use it for uh, any mains related uh, job but other than that I hope you enjoyed this little teardown See ya.